Maayong Boontag Wanderers, today is kind of a big deal. Within the hour, Izai and I will start the journey to go to another province for the first time since 2019. That's right, because of COVID, we haven't been able to leave Cebu for three years. I haven't been out of Cebu since flying back into the Philippines in 2020. This is a huge deal. Hopefully everything goes well. We've got all the paperwork, we've got our vaccination cards, we've got everything we should need. <sighs> Wish us luck. I'm a little nervous because yeah, there's been so much protocol and it's been so difficult to do this for a while. But finally, we're getting into what we want 2021 to be more about, which is sorry, but less Cebu as we've covered a ton of Cebu and more of the rest of the Philippines. And we're kicking it off with Bohol. Let's go. I'm Cody. And I'm Izai. We're a Filipino-American couple. Who actually met on Tinder during my first time in the Philippines all the way back in 2017. Since 2020, we've been living together on the island of Cebu with our 10 cats, hunting down hidden spots and beautiful hotels on the weekend. But after two years of showing you nothing but Cebu, we think it's finally time for something new. Starting with a beautiful island of Bohol. All right, we are here at Pier 1 in Cebu City, headed for Tagbilaran. It has been a long time since we've done this, 2019. Yeah. Things are really different now. We can't even go into the port yet. We had to show our vaccination card to get the tickets. We did also fill out S-Pass. I'm not sure if we're going to need that or not, but we've got all that information in case we do. Mm -hmm. They didn't ask for it yet, so we're just waiting now to get in. The skies are gray. It's not raining. Hopefully it won't, but... Let's see how this goes. Oh, and we don't have our motorbike. I'll talk to you more about that later. We're gonna rent one there. It just made more sense for us, but I'll explain that later. And you can't go in. And we finally realized after <laughs> thinking for a long time, oh, it's probably because of the typhoon. The port's probably messed up because we can see something over there that's broken. Don't know, but it's pretty packed out here. It's almost time for us to board our ferry. Let's see if it will happen on time. Where do we check our bag? I wonder why some of the people don't have a seat number. Oh, because there's two different windows, because Philippines. You have to get your ticket, then you have to go through a whole other window, and there they give you the seat number. You don't even pay anything there, they just oh, give you the seat number there. I see. So, I already expected it since I've been traveling here for a while, but... Yeah, but the girl in front of us, they didn't know, so they were like so aggravated. Yeah. He's I. Ah, it just knocked it off. Yeah, so there's less trips now. It used to be once per hour, and now it's like once every two hours, two to three hours. Because look at that, man. I wonder how many of the ships got like destroyed during the typhoon. I don't know how many they lost. Luckily, they still have some. Man, that thing is messed up. Holy crap. It actually looks like it caught on fire. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Or like sunk halfway. Yeah. I don't know. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Here we go. First time boarding a ferry like this since 2019. Holy crap. This feels crazy. No, I think we're all On the way into the ferry, Izai dropped her helmet and it looks like she broke the face shield part. <laughs> like the, the part that like holds it in place. She's using this as an excuse to now get bought a new helmet. Be careful Izai, if you actually fix it, we don't have to buy a new helmet. Five minutes later. Well, guess what? I fixed it. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. There's a, a little gap, but... I feel, I feel like it's gonna work. So. It's a lot better than it was. Yeah. Also, I meant for us to be upstairs in the like open air part because Izai gets really motion sick in the air conditioning part. I'm not sure how this happened. I don't know how we ended up here. <laughs> We're moving Izai. We're leaving Cebu. We're leaving our cats. Can you believe we're actually leaving Cebu? It's been so long. It's gonna be weird to set foot on oh, another province. Huh? The oh, the bridge.
lot better and it's a lot better view up here anyway. I think it's really worth it. some other people go first before we get off so we're not in as much of a mad crowd it's uh you might notice it's getting dark already the sun's setting over there it doesn't take that long to get here it's only like an hour and a half but we had to leave a bit later today because um, Isai had to work today so we couldn't go this morning but we've got two full days and half a day on Monday so we've got plenty of time to see what we came here for Oh, I see my bag. Man, getting off at this port is so nostalgic. It's the first port we ever went to when we came here in 2017. Oh, I think I gotta stop. They just checked our vaccination card as we came in and looks like they're scanning temperature up here. Cool. All right, guys, we made it to Calape Forest Resort in Calape, Bohol. Here's our, I'll give you the room tour later. <laughs> we really need to go eat. Their restaurant's already closed, so we're gonna have to go back out. We rented a motorbike, a click. I've never driven a click before, like the Honda click. I'm used to the, uh, to Yamaha, so it's gonna be a new, new adventure for me. It was pretty far to get here. We just ended up taking a van from the port. I know there's way cheaper ways to get here, but I'm glad we did that because it's already really late and things are already starting to close. We really need to find some food and he got up here really quick. Uh, you can come on a bus or a like shared van as well if you want, but this worked out for us. I really like the vibe here. I don't see anyone else, but they may just be chilling in their rooms. A big pool. I'll have to show you it tomorrow because it's too dark to see it right now. We're just gonna head out and back into like Poblacion Calape and see if we can find anything to eat. Manok. Manok. We got some dinner. I guess we'll head back. <laughs> and we filled up the gas. All right, we've got chicken and bread, and now uh, I don't know what we're looking for here. Because I wanted to come to 7-Eleven. Oh, they have my lemon too. Hopefully we can bring this food even to our hotel. A lot of hotels and resorts here have like corkage fees, but like we wanted to eat in our hotel. It's just they closed their restaurant at like seven or earlier. I don't know when they closed it. Guys, a memeing smelled our chicken as we were coming up. <laughs> Luckily, we were smart and we brought cat food and dog food. Mimi, hi. Hi, Mimi. So our taxi driver on the way up here was telling us a few interesting things. One, there's another port. It's pretty new, like to be able to take a fast craft to, um, or a fast ferry to a port very near here. I knew there was a port very near here. But I couldn't find anything about like a fast ferry. It would have taken like four to five hours with what I was reading online. But he said they just recently opened up fast ferry. So we might try to take that back to Cebu so we don't have to drive all the way back to Tagbilaran. It would save us a lot of money actually. So the other thing he was telling us is that apparently a lot of people here in Bohol still don't have power from the typhoon. I know Bohol was hit really hard 
and even out around our resort. So clearly our resort has power. He was saying a lot of people are using solar here. So maybe theirs is coming from solar. Like they saved up the energy throughout the day. I don't know. Because we don't hear a generator. But the neighbors, we didn't see any lights from the neighbors. So they may not have power. Not really sure. We'll see more of the damage and devastation tomorrow. But for now, I think we're both really hungry. And this memeing is really hungry. So we're going to dig in. He's like this sort of chicken, like this sort of meal, the chicken and bread. I was bread. thinking about it, I was like, this is post Odette. <laughs> yeah, you guys didn't see it that much. We showed you a little in the Odette series, but like after we stopped that, we still didn't have power for weeks. Yeah. So the amount of like roasted chicken, chicken. and bread that we ate literally like every day for dinner. A lot. <laughs> for weeks. Yeah, it's actually pretty good, not gonna lie. So I'm kind of excited for this meal. Our cats are going to be so jealous if they ever see this video. <laughs> You're a lamp cat. Mm, 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 mm. Baby. Ba -na -na, baby. <laughs> baby. Next time, we head to Sagbayan Peak, an alternative viewing point for the Chocolate Hills. But things don't go exactly as planned. You can see that video on your screen right now. We'll see you over there. Keep wandering. <laughs>